Ja, die bin wohl. Nehmen I mean, if you can hear me, uh, probably been boy. I need to fix my mark up a little bit. Yeah, I killed a bear over here earlier. I forgot to take it. I should take it. I need to hunt it. Wanted? Yeah, I've been wanted for a long time. I'm back now though, so... Send telegrams on. Um, just waiting for responses like usual. Hey, thank you. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Thank you so much, Wade. I'm back, baby. Nice to see me. Yeah, it's nice to be back, man. It's real nice to be back. excited to see what's happening. I've seen bits and pieces, but I've not even scratched the surface. <laughs> well, one goal today, and it's to not go to Sissico. Gun down. <clears throat> or anything. Just, I don't want to go to this again, not today. I'll give it some time, hopefully. Might be, it would be a good scene though. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Because I'm definitely going to get some OC time. I'd like to be back for a little bit before going to Sissica, but you know, sometimes you can't help it. If I can help it, I'm gonna try and not go there. In saying that, I'm heading straight to Strawberry because I need to buy some shit. I've got literally nothing in my inventory. I need to get some bandages and a cat on the road.
Oh no. Oh no. They just see me. Daddy fellow.
that mocked. Uh, yeah, I might. I'm having a massive brain fire. Where is it? Oh, yeah, the medical tent's over there. I just can't. I can't. I can't keep. I think that is Marcus. Is that you, Marcus? It is, howdy. Howdy, you know where, you know where uh, Moxie or any, anyone is? Oh. You seen Alice, maybe? Uh, I haven't heard back from Moxie. Huh. Why are you looking for him? What, am I looking for Alice? Yeah. Well, wouldn't I be? I don't know, she was in jail. Yeah, she's out. Is she? Yeah, that's right. You might have ruined a surprise for me. Anyway, maybe they were planning a party. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, I'm looking for them. I haven't got a telegram yet, so. What's your telegram? I'll have them write you if I run into them. NB240. Now, they'll. I mean, uh, Alice will write me when she gets to a telegram station. I just wonder if anyone's seen her. Uh, no, or yeah, Mills. Right? Or Pitt. Or anyone. Now, I've been just rounding about the plains over here, hunting for a living nowadays. Fair enough. <laughs> Are you going yeah. straight or something? I mean, until opportunity presents itself. Well, otherwise, who knows? You know, maybe, maybe this is great. You seen any lore in town? I'm noticing a lot of people going into saloons. I have not. I've only seen, I don't know, two fellas. You, Herbie, and some guy at the telegram. I haven't been around there much. Me either. I've been going for a while. Yeah, it's a lot of lore and strawberry right now, though. If you, if I take it, you're not wanted. You're on that disguise, though, so I'm not too sure. Disguise? Yeah, well, I didn't even fucking recognize you until you opened your mouth. This is the a uniform of a, a Texas Ranger, you know, one of the, the America's greatest, uh, you know, Ranger Ranger division. <laughs> I'm I'm looking to start the New Austin Rangers. You know, when I first heard Rangers, I thought that would be a bit more menacing. You know, that's that's kind of what I got in my head, and maybe I want to maybe I want to make that the case for just the New Austin Rangers. <laughs> What's happening down in New Austin lately? God forbid, I've heard absolutely nothing that's going on out there. I heard that all the people who called that place home and up and disappeared or are buried in the ground. That place is a fucking ghost town. Up for grabs, I guess. Good, good. Good? <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Fuck everyone that lives down there. I guess I still hold some sort of desire for that place to be better than it is considering how much Clyde wanted it to succeed. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, once 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 he was hey, gone, that place was a bit uh You got it getting on a date it's going terribly. Herbie's trying his best to help him so they don't stop ignoring or annoying him. He's trying to go on a date with someone who's ignoring him. No no he he's annoying Herbie because he was going on dates with this woman, trying to make it work, but it ain't working. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm gonna let you get to it. I'm gonna get a stew. I'm starving. I've been living in a fucking cave for a week. James? Oh, the fun. Granny? Marcus? Howdy. Yeah. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? I've been in a cave for a week. I've been living under a rock, literally. You haven't even in a, under a rock. They, they, they busted my leg real good. I had to let her recover. They, they, I've got a plate in my knee. I'm half fucking machine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you've met uh, Marcus and James before, but guys, this is J 
Jimothy. He's my um. Ah, Jimothy's the one on the date. Yeah, I know Jimothy. Yeah. Met him a few times. Huh? Howdy there. Howdy. You two were going on a date. Ain't that cute? Yeah, he's my. Dad. Oh, this is the fucking dirt bag. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a cute little nickname for her. Randy, yeah, can I talk, talk for you a minute? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, you can talk. See you too. What you doing around here? for you two on the bar. Uh, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on a date. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah. Where is yeah. he? I'd love to meet him. He's talking to my friend. Yeah, Renny, I don't have too much time. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. So what did you want to talk about? I need to be filled in on what the fuck's going on. I've been literally living under a rock, as I said. I'm wanted, I can't stay here for too long. I am, yeah, I know, I haven't seen anybody in forever. Listen, what's going on? Uh, well, let's see, uh, the, the other day I think, uh, Jet was, uh, hurt really bad. And, uh, Paige just, uh, ended up coming and, uh, helping him out with his wounds and stuff like that. Yeah, badly. Uh, yeah, I think he was cut up pretty bad. I don't know much uh, after, you know, then we had a standoff with Law. And they were there. So uh, it was me, Moxie, uh, Mills, and Kaniklo. And uh, we had a standoff and they fucked off. They had time to get the fuck out of things, and I, I don't know what happened since, so. Have you uh, seen anyone lately? Not since yesterday. I saw, like, maybe... Mills and it's maybe for five seconds at a telegram station in Emerald, and that was it. Yeah, where everyone's been staying at, I'm waiting on telegram, so I'm kind of by myself until I get one. I see. Well, take care of yourself and you know, be safe. And cut off that stupid ponytail. It's driving me insane. No, I was black? tired of my long hair. I, I it was never black. What? what it was never, never black. black? It was dark brown. My hair is dark brown. And the fact that you don't know that is insulting. Well, we'll go back to the darker color. And go for mustache. I can't. Did you buy her a gift or something yet? Um, no, but... Get her something. Flowers or something. You have a suggestion? Flowers and... Why does everyone think my hair was black? James Kelly's hair was not ever black. If you look at Gavin Summers' hair, that's black. James Kelly's was always more brown than that. Fair enough though. I definitely prefer this hair and I can take the hat off without it spazzing out. I gotta get out of town. Ooh, meet with Kaniklo. He hasn't sent me one. Yeah, I will continue, Mafia. I've seen, I've heard that Mafia 2, and I was looking at some gameplay, it was much better, so I'm excited to finish Mafia and play that. I still need to buy it though. No, no, he doesn't cut his hair. It just, um, just looks like this. He's tied it up. The longer ponytail, I don't really like it. It's got the sideburns and it's really weird.
this I believe. Boy, a new Billy the Kid out tonight. Let's go, I'm so excited. I can't wait. It's one of my favorite shows ever, I think. It's really good. I've been waiting for every Sunday to watch that. I'm assuming they've got too many people because Mills would have just told me to meet with him. I do have to talk to Mills and everybody though. Connect Globes is one of my favourite people that I've been with though, so. He's so good. I'm confused, though, as to why Mills would, uh, you know, he didn't even tell me where to find Kaneko, and there's a horse, two horses, three horses, we are getting inside. I'm pretty sure Saffron did see me earlier though, so they might be searching here. I've got no clue. I just really don't want to go to Siska today. If it happens, it happens.
I use the bathroom real quick. Howdy. Howdy. You're waiting on anyone? Anything I can help you with? Waiting on K. Did you see those six riders before? No, I didn't. I didn't yeah. see that riders. What I have seen though, well, I've got reports. I've came here to check something out because I've got reports that someone's fucking busted the door in back there. Yeah, no, I just saw that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too happy about that. Did, did you see anyone who might have been around? No, I just got in, I was waiting for Kaniklo and uh, as soon as I got here, there was six riders uh, along the ridge line of the ranch. Along the fence, whereabouts? Uh, yep, up near uh, the grave up there. They were riding around there. They came from the uh, right. east. I think okay. it was law. Did you, did you see any t pieces of tin on their chest or any notable uh, items of clothing or anything like that? I didn't. I didn't look, I went inside, I thought it was law. Here comes somebody now. Who the fuck is this guy? He's got a mask on. That's all right. Look, uh, if you wouldn't mind in the future, maybe just sticking to the fence line instead of going straight through the property because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just it makes it easier on the people inside because we're monitoring who's coming in and going out, you know, people just riding through all crazy yeah, like. Yeah, Sorry, these I days. just spaced out. No, that's okay. Uh, what was your name? Oh, the name's Luke. Luke. All right, well, uh, you, you live around here? You a resident of Blackwater or? Oh no, I was just had it down, heading to the bait shop quickly, get some bait. I didn't have any oh. river lures. Okay, where, where are you from? Oh, I usually hang around, like, past, by the river, uh, Thieves Landing area, just to hang oh. out, and then, other than that, up the Dakota River, just to fish. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, yeah, did you, did you see anyone else around the ranch today, around this area, on the property? Not to say that I have, no. I actually haven't really been seeing much people except in the towns of it. Right here. Okay. Well, uh, go on about your day. Take it easy out there. Uh, what's your name, fella? Name's Toby. Toby, nice to meet you. All right, you nice guys have you. a good day. Yeah, uh, name's James Kelly. Nice yeah. to meet you, Luke. James Kelly, nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. You have a good day. Yeah. I really look like that fella had a mask on. 
Who he looked Must like? have been in the beard. No, he looked like he had a mask on. Hmm. That must be my eyes playing tricks on me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm getting fucking reports of people busting in, messing with the property. And I've got people riding through, so I just wanted to be double sure. Yeah, no, I haven't seen anyone besides those riders. I did notice the broken lock, though. Yeah. Uh, ever since I've been around here, there's always been people coming to fuck with the ranch for some unknown reason. Yeah, no, no, it's 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 grinding my gears now. It's, I've had enough of it. Oh, horses along the ridge line. Oh, they're wild. Don't worry. Yeah, no, they came um, they came up from the north along that okay. fence post, and then they stopped at the grave and then took off. I went inside because I thought it was law. Okay. Yeah, we had a we had a barbecue here yesterday, and the law mo decided to mosey along right through the property and have a sticky beak. So that was fun. Yeah, no, there was a lot of them in strawberry. I'm just trying to keep clear. I've been wanted for a while now. Yeah, I'm I may or may not be wanted right now as well. So yeah, it is what it is, eh? Anyway, yeah. uh, make yourself a home. I know you got a you got a maiden or whatever. Make yourself a home. Mate. Go for it. Yeah, I appreciate it, Toby. All good. So, uh, what you have for Rennie with that Jimothy kid? I know, um... Say again? What you have for Rennie with that Jimothy kid? I know he's a good bloke, but, uh... <laughs> he's gotten a bit angry with me in the past over nothing. I don't know. I don't know him too well. Yeah, look, I was gonna... I wanted, I wanted to have a little chat with this Jimothy kid, you know? Just a nice friendly chat with him, and, uh... Yeah. I, I trust Rennie's making a good call. <laughs> Was, you know, she's the closest uh, family I got. Maybe the closest thing to her sister I'll ever have, so. Yeah, I don't know if it would be, you know, I like to, I trust Renny. I don't know if it would be a good call. She's kind of been in the, uh, down in the dumps recently with everything going on. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've noticed. I've, I've, I've just been trying to be there, you know, support her and whatnot. Yeah, it's a shame. A bit, but... yeah. I thought she was working out with us pretty well, but, you know, people I run with ain't too trusting like me, so. Hmm. You know, these, these things these things happen. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm sure she'll find something. She'll find she'll find a calling. Yeah, she knows she's always got a place with me if she ever wants one. I'm always yeah. happy to a, do a robbery with her. With her. Well. She's got, yeah, she's got plenty of places. She's always welcome here. She's, you know, welcome, I'm sure, with a few of the Kettlemans. Oh, yeah. 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 Most of us like her. It's just, uh, yeah, things going on with Recently, we can't trust too many people. Yeah, uh, and uh, things, it's, well, I know, probably not smooth sailing, but uh, things generally okay with you and your folk? I've got no fucking clue. I've been living in a cave for the past God knows how long. Right. I, uh, I only just got back today. I was recovering from a pretty bad injury. Someone tried to take off my leg with a shotgun. Fucking hell. I think I was going to need, I think I need to go see a doctor to be honest. I haven't got the plate taken out yet. Yeah, you probably want to get that bloody looked at because uh, it's just hard. Yeah. Nobody. It's okay though. I'll wait till I find one. Yeah. I've got to stay out of town. I only got caught before in Strawberry. There was a shit ton of them. I never see law in Strawberry, and there was about six of them. Yeah, mate, I can fucking relate to the dilemma. I was playing poker yesterday and the fella I robbed just walked into the saloon. Then I saw some law amassing and I got the fuck out of there real quick. Oh, I haven't played really poker in too long. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, I won't hold you up too long, Toby. You take care. Alright, well, make if, yourself uh, home and yeah, take care. If you see, um, you know, Kineclo Mills, anyone like that, can you flick a telegram to me in MB240? NB240, and you got mine, yeah. it's LP104. LP104. Yeah, have you ever right. seen anyone on the ranch, or anyone unfamiliar, or any odd odd sites, can you telegram me? Will do. Alright. Take care, James. See you later.
know this is around too long there. Go ahead and check the telegrams at rigs. Did I ever get Goldie's telegram? No, I didn't, actually. <coughs> I should have. I should have got a telegram, but I haven't got around to it. Um, yeah, no, I really do need to get that. I need to get money, too. I want to make a, a black cattleman. James Kelly needs a black cattleman. Because, um... I, I like the navy, it's just way too expensive and ever since I lost my last navy, it's just, you know, I don't make any money on James Kelly unless we rob a bank, so I need to go for cheaper options. If we do rob a bank though, I will get a gold, I will get my um, navy back. But that's just more RP, you know, we gotta go find Co. well we don't have to go find him, but if we ever see him, we can pass for that gun back. James Kelly has a signature navy revolver, the brown one, brown and black. The Cattleman is good though, um, people sleep on the Cattleman, very cheap and it packs a punch. I've been thinking a lot on how I'm going to make gunfights more enjoyable for both parties. I think using a cattleman will be a good start. I think the next time we're going to... You no, know, we're riding out looking for someone, we're expecting a gunfight, 6v6. I'm going to try and get everyone to keep their distance so the gunfight goes for longer. Maybe get some cover as well. Get a meeting point with lots of cover. Yeah, it does. God damn it. I really need to ride around with multiple people to make it less likely to be caught. I just got the money to send a telegram as I left. Pain. I like this field, but it's definitely grown to be my favourite gun. It just looks so clean.
so many people around, I love it. It's getting real late for everybody else too, so I'm hoping I'll run into them soon or get a telegram. Anyway, how you been, Boyd? It's been a long time. Five days since my last stream and seven days until the last time I was on live. Catch up on schoolwork? Yeah, I need to catch up on my schoolwork as well. Good thing about my uni though is uh, if you get sick or you can't work on something due to actual good reasons, it's, there's a thing called adverse circumstances. So since I was out for like 10 days with COVID, I get 10 days on all my assignments and schoolwork. Which is good, very handy. Most of my assignments I can do in two days anyway, so. Still nothing. It's only been 47 minutes, feels like way longer. There's gotta be someone over the ranch. I saw Skoog start streaming wild again, so which means Billy's back. I don't know if he's around now though. That could be really interesting. Thank <laughs> you. 
No. Channel switched. Please don't crash. Fuck. It's a worse spot to crash. I'm gonna go plop in the bush, but I crashed. Hopefully, um, if they saw me where I was just then and I crashed, I'm done. I can't do anything. Channel switched. I didn't recognize any of those horses though. I hope they didn't catch me because I crashed. That would have been as bad as well. I mean, there's nothing I could do about that. Oh, I hate that sound. It gives me so much anxiety. I hate that sound so much. Please remove it so I don't have to fucking hear it. <laughs> oh, God. They know I'm here. They must have seen my horse. They know I'm here for sure. I can't search every bush. I'm in one of them. Maybe I should take this chance now.
See, everyone says I'm not a question, but I always get away. Maybe. I mean, I, I guess the hair makes me look like Mills, but everything else, not really. What is that noise? I would have left by now.
I did not think we were going to get away there. Now, they are probably thinking I would go more into the moin. That's a horse. Unless I'm at Emerald Branch. <laughs> oh, um, spoke too soon, I guess. Horse here. Snake one of you. Howdy. Moxie Marcus, you home? Okay, this is the horse outside then. It's the only way I lose anyone, whether it's been getting chased by law or, or enemies, it's always um, to the trees, makes it so much easier. Just gotta remember how hard it is to chase someone when you're chasing someone and it's still what people do to you. I know there's black bear up here, but I did not sound like a black bear. This area is uh, always so spooky at night. I love it.
absolutely beautiful. Marksman James Kelly. I think I'm getting more equestrian guys. Equestrian. Getting more equestrian. I'm actually looking where I'm going. Black bears are always scared of shit out of me.
I have been on the run forever. That's a bit. It's gonna. I feel it coming soon. I'm gonna be caught. I don't even have a general store here. Alright, Yeah, I said that last one. Someone in the gang at least. I don't even care who it is at this point. Just need to get filled in on everything going on. God knows what they're doing. Might even go off already. Who knows? Hope not. Telegram from anyone besides Mills.
I doubt it, because that was a long time ago. I would just send me one already. I hope this bloke doesn't get mad at me for sitting next to him. That's all right. I wish this telegram station worked. Yeah, that's true.
Oh, the battle rice is on tomorrow. Sheriff Monroe. I've never heard of him. I haven't seen Baz's obituary. Oh, is it? Never met him. Yeah, I'm not too worried about getting tomahawks anymore. I'll only use them if we capture someone, so... It's disgusting. Telegram again. That's something. 
Dann. Thanks for the bit, Smoke Dad. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.
I didn't see where they where he sent it from though, so I don't know how far away he is. Also, Boyd, um, Driver helped me start uploading my VODs to YouTube so they don't disappear. So I'm logging all the VODs now. I didn't know it was that easy. My YouTube, um, I think it's just A Jimmy as well. I have to check. Let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure it's just A Jimmy. It's easier just to put them all on YouTube and then have the, the good ones highlighted, you know? And yeah, it's just A Jimmy. Um, gold.
Yeah, exactly. I want it to be easy to look at the highlights that should be highlighted, you know? It's the whole point of a highlight, so it's like, you know, it's the best of the best. Just the normal, regular VODs will just go on YouTube. It's really easy, too. I didn't think it would be that easy. I just have to hit one button and it's on YouTube. Drybot's really helpful. So are you too, Levoid. Both helped me out a lot. So, I'm starting to wonder where the fuck he's coming from. How long's it been? Maybe I'm just getting impatient. Can't wait to get back into it. I haven't seen him in so long. Appreciate it, Void. Thank you so much. Where the fuck is Kuniklo? Wonder if he, hopefully he's coming with everyone as well. That's alright, Void. Yeah, it is hard, Gold. I'm just, I'm wondering if... He had to admit he was on his way to Van Horn, right? I'm just, I don't even remember how long it's been now. I'll give him some more time, then I'll go check the Williams again. He the man he was on his way down west, or on his way to fucking Van Horn? I've got no idea, though.
That's true. Me too, I like that horn a lot. Um, I can probably get there very quickly. I'm just going to send a telegram saying, awaiting your arrival so he knows that I'm staying here. It's all right. We'll, we'll find it. He'll read the telegrams eventually. Or someone else might have said that. Evening. Should I make the trip? I don't know, I could. That's true, Void. That is true. I don't want to get caught, though. That's the thing. That's true. Who knows how long we're gonna talk for? I should be able to get there. Oh, 
Let's go down the wall. Once we get a new oscillation, we should be fine. As we stay off the roads, we shouldn't run into too many people. Or more.
halfway there. So far, so good.
Oh shit. Can you imagine this fool pelting your horse through a desert and just smacking into a cactus? Man, that would hurt. you all the way out here. Yeah, dude. What brings me out of here? Get to the ground. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, you didn't recognize me, Kate? There's another... Uh... Neither. No, it's... It's you James. Have the f your hair? Where'd your hair go? Hair. And I've, I've still got it. It's just tied up. One of our brothers. Okay. He was supposed to meet us uh, back at back at the lower Montana, but was waylaid. As were we. Hmm. So, uh, I think we left off at. Do you think you'll need a crate of ammo as well? Yes. Okay. Rifle ammo. Rifle ammo, but the crate, the other crate has Colts and navies. He said, right? Hmm. Hmm. Now, yeah, handgun ammo makes more sense, actually. Okay. I'll, uh, we'll send something out to Jericho as soon as possible. And we appreciate your time and in informing us of these people. Oh. Remember. I'll pay you for any information you get, and I agree. I want this to be the start of a good relationship between us. If we're both going to be in the West, being at each other's throats or being in contention even, it's just too crowded out here. And it's settled. Those uh, materials together, or perhaps the day before, you'll have them together. Uh, write me. That way I can get everything prepared and make sure we have an escort. Goldie had mentioned in the telegram to me that uh, something happened to her yesterday. Is she alright? Goldie is fine. Okay. Just physically. Sure. Uh, that brother Jed, I... Well, yesterday we almost lost him. It was pretty rough for all of us. Is he okay? Well, he's in Sisica, and they've got some good state doctors, so hopefully he's in good hands. Well. Now, it won't monopolize any more of your time. Unless, uh, of course, there's more to talk about. Only that you must travel well, and we will speak soon. 
Et Carol. Plus vrai. Fait que. Be safe. Be safe. Thanks. Staying out west now. We're taking Thieves Landing. Are we? Yes. Interesting. But that's what I said. I was extremely skeptical, but we'll, we'll talk in Thieves. Yeah. I can face landing. That's gonna be sick. I love that. <laughs> I hate these big horses. They make me look so tiny. My little horse so small. Was today. That's why I was in bed. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't you walk. Lied. That's why I was walking oh, so long. I don't know at this point. It's been uh, it's been too long. Probably at least what? five counts of fleeing and eluding. Oh my lord. You know, everyone says I'm not a questron, but you know, tell that to the law. They can't seem to catch me. Yeah, you've got kind of a drunken master thing going on. <laughs> Anybody, I'll, I'll wait till we get to Thieves. I haven't been filled in. As I said, I've been in a cave for the past... I don't know how long. My leg's fine it's now, though. I can walk. I was surprised when you right. said you were going out west. I thought our enemies are still out here. Peter Gray's dead. Yeah. Yeah, I was aware of that. Annabelle is... Well, Annabelle's gone. Good riddance. Along what what about Morgan? Dance. Morgan just got shot the fuck up. I think Goldie shot him yesterday. <laughs> Goldie shot him? Or two days ago. Goldie... Perfect. Goldie is... A... Goldie is crazy now. No, I haven't been called for this though. I'm sure she is. What about Taipan? Taipan, I haven't seen hide nor hair of in days. So they nearly blew my leg off and ran. Makes sense. It. Oh, we we did kill one of them. Did you? you know Which a one? Named Drake? Mm, no, I don't. Looked to be on the younger side. Actually, was that the one we saw at the gun store that one time? The one I didn't recognize? The one we had the conversation with? I don't think so. No, there was two of them. There was one I had no idea who he was. There was Bailey and they had a, an accomplice with him. You know, the one he kind of uses as a punching bag. He was just hurling insults at the fella. Same like he was a lackey. I don't think so. Same guy. It might have been that. Ah, my memory sucks. But the point is, his fucking head got evaporated. Oh my god, who did that? This way? Ah, uh, no. It's more east from here. Ah, left. I guess you're happy then if Armadillo is vacant. Yes. It is finally back to the way I love it. Well, that means if we don't have to worry about these rats out west and all these snakes, then I think, um, what is it? We've only got the cut left now. Yes, and, uh, yeah, tight pan. They ever reemerge. They're gonna be pissed that, uh, holy shit. Like, Pip has a pump action shotgun now. Is that how his head got evaporated? Yeah. That's how the head got it. Oh. Well. Yeah, well, that's what the fuck it gets for nearly blowing off my fucking leg. They 
elephant rifle here? No, they used a shotgun as well and he took my leg off. Ah. Lucky we had Sloan. That's why I was in that cave for so long. I had um I was going up to Big Valley occasionally, but Yeah, I couldn't walk for a while. I could ride my horse barely. It's taking all the morphine I could get my hands on. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure if Lucille's told the law, but that's probably why I'm so wanted right now, apart from the aiding and a bit um fleeing and eluding. I'm assuming the law knows about that. And uh you know, Bailey being a informant and all, he's probably told them a few oh, things as well. We're live. The meeting went well. We're buying eight. We're buying eight navy revolvers from them. What the fuck is Dana on the back of your horse? What? <laughs> James. James, why? What the fuck? About me? You look at the Dana. Yeah, me and Mills is we in disguise right now. At least from what I could tell. Fellow named Kennedy that might run with these new Hagens. And she said she's gonna keep her ears out for us. That's, uh. Well, the people at Rathskeller echoed the same sentiment. By the way. They're the diamond backs. That's what they go down. Yes. What a shit name. <laughs> James taking a hard stance on it, okay. I don't like them. Well, you're gonna have to just be diplomatic because we're buying guns from them now. So we're buying guns from two people. Yeah, exactly. I, do, I, I heard navies though, I do need a navy. Now I got a fucking cattleman. I think I might have one Lancaster in my bank, Alice. I'm not too sure. We're gonna have thousands of guns and no money. Well, I've already got no money. Yeah, now we need to do a bank job to get the money for the guns. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I haven't hit Blackwater yet. We've got to do Blackwater. You've never hit Blackwater? Well, then it's a special occasion. I would like to do one where I don't have to pick the, lock, pick the safe. Well, perfect. I, I can, can do all of it. Goldie, I heard you've been getting busy. Yeah, James. The what day. The day after. Yeah, what's that mean exactly? I don't want to hear about my daughter getting busy. What's no, that he's getting. Saying, James? I mean, she fucking blew someone's head off. Or was that Pip? That was Pip. That was Pip. Oh, well, you still shot somebody. Yeah. And, and what is that on your hip? Yeah. Fuck, did you get a golden gun from? Pan. Yeah, they've always got fancy guns. They've got one of my guns too. I need it back. Look what at the that. fuck? Look at it. Oh. That's gonna be two thousand dollars right there. They don't. These Hagens don't have any connection to the other Hagens, and they're actually kind of mad that they're that they're even on Mount Hagen. Why is Mount Hagen so, so populated now? Kibbit yeah. says she frequents <laughs> north up there. And Marino, she says she ain't never met anyone of the limited description we can give. Can we get out of this damn rain? She said, she said that Peaches might know who they are. Peaches was just there. We just peaches saw Peaches. What? 
then no one knows who the fuck these people are. These snakes come slithering out of the grass, hit one of our people, and then demand something from us without giving us any means of fucking even speaking. Oh, man, what are they demanding? He in there. They don't I, know who these people are. That ain't going is this, Kai, is this the pack you sent me a telegram about? Yeah, the pack, and they... That's another shitty name. They... <laughs> Get this, James. They all wear animal heads. Oh, give me a fucking break. Get, let me guess, it's wolf. They're wolf heads, aren't they? The fucking wolf pack, huh? Go in the woods like an animals. Wait, this is the wolf pack? Maybe it is just Listeria. Well, if they're wearing animal heads and they're called the pack. Just sit around. I don't know, they might be a pack of rabbits. Pack of fucking vermin, more like it. Rat pack. <laughs> Rat pack. I like that. Rat bags. How is we so lost? How is it that ain't nobody heard about this pack yet? Probably exclusively I'm looking you, at us. That bear guy's in it. You think? He said you owe him a favor, right? I mean, yeah, but I already done owed him a favor. Why the hell do you gotta stab someone for the favor? Ain't that a we didn't see him up there. Well, I know a fella that uh, walks around with a coyote on his head. He, he frequents Valentine. He's a weirdo, but he might be involved. With how little it, people know about these fucking people, I have it on good authority to assume they don't normally wear that outfit. That they could be any normal gang. Ah, uh, but this this fella's real weird. He might, you know, he walks around sniffing folk. He might be part of it. Oh, I remember that. I got to Yeah. See that and his name's James, too. I hate him. <laughs> I don't know. Who's to say this ain't just some gang that already fucking hates Kittleman? Just putting on an outfit disguised so they can get away with it. It's that would make I sense. Too. I thought maybe it might have been, uh, Gavin's new people. What, you think that would be called the pack? It's got to be someone with, you know, the goal to call themselves that. Well, the law call themselves the hounds. What's any different? It doesn't Wait. seem like yeah. sense, to be honest. I, don't think I think if he did hide. something, he'd want people to know about it. Although the Summer Gang was going by a new name, I think. Yeah, but something, they're called like... Company or something? <laughs> who, who was I talking to? Blood Drip or something like that. <laughs> Dribble Drip. Hey. Is he the man killers or is that some other group? That's someone else. Jesus Christ. Considering all these stupid names, I think we should start calling ourselves the Teapot Posse. I love the Teapot Posse, yeah. The TPP? TPP. The Teapot Posse. He James regrets his decision. Oh, so we did find something interesting up in the mountains. Yeah. You know that fire watch tower on the top of Mount Hagen? Where the old Hagens used to live? When we it's got there... Outpost. Yeah, nope. it had, well, theoretically it is. We didn't see any ranger crates or ranger paraphernalia there. What we did find was a smoldering fire and a view directly down onto the way we had come into that portion of the state. Hmm. Hmm. They saw us come in and ran. Fast enough for them to not put out their fire and for it to still be burning. Has anyone seen Sloan? I think she needs to take this plate out of my leg. Really, James? Yeah, really. I've got a plate in my no, leg. No, 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 no. No, really? You don't remove those, I thought. What do you mean, really? She said I need to get it removed. Think. That was completely unrelated to what Caniglo was just talking about. Yeah, but I've got a plate in my leg. Alice, I've got a metal plate in my leg. Shut <laughs> What if it starts rusting or something? No, 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 no. Shut up. i got to put gun oil on my leg now. You say one more word. <laughs> you for you? Well, that's just going to be more metal inside what if me. It just bounces off the plate? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Marcus just wants some excuse. Hurry up, honey. Kick him. What? No, no, I was just putting, I was putting meals saying. between her and well, him. That was basically it. That there was a fire and we were too late. 
Hmm. So... But they've got a view on... If you are going up to them, take the side by the mining camp, because they have a view down onto that river. Hmm. Okay. You think they back up there? Can you close? No, I think they've probably fucked off for the day. As I was saying before, though, considering everyone else is fucked off, we still got the cut to worry about. What'd the cut do? Now. What do you mean, what the cut do? Uh, what the, the cut do this time? Well, I mean, they no, they, we just we just haven't. Jack stabbed one of their wives during their wedding or something. Well, we haven't got payback since you know everything's been happening. Besides Lucille getting shot the fuck up, it's the only thing that's happened to him. And I'm assuming they're still coming for us. Cut around, to be honest. Yeah, well, I've been living in a cave for the past week, so I haven't seen anyone either. Uh, we've got a lot died. to catch you up on still. I've heard about Jed, not too much about him though. I've heard about this these wolf widows and uh That's about it. Oh and Goldie shooting someone. And Pip blowing someone's head off. Yeah, and I got a shot and Pip's got a shot. And By who? West got West shot. Got Some fella named Desmond shot Goldie. Oh the fucking Desmond prick again. Desmond, Morgan and some lady and another lady. And this guy named Charlie. Well, one of those ladies had like a brown hair. Oh, wait, wait. Was she wearing blue? A blue dress? Blue. Yeah, I oh, know her. We've run into her twice and she said she's got no affiliation with anybody, but she lives in Armadillo. I should have gunned her down. And she wears a blue shirt. Wait, what's her name? I don't know. Well, we never got to that point. Well, she might have told me, but I forgot. I just know she wears a blue dress and she lives in Armadillo. She's got blonde hair and a white shirt. Like a blue, the blue dress skirt. So I think uh, she'll brown hair. Body blue dress. I thought that was Mysteria. No. no. So I think one of them with the blue dress, it might be a lady named Eve. Uh, that's Desmond's sister. Yeah. Oh, is that... She's the one with the, uh... Eve is the one with the, um... The hair that you used to have, right, Goldie? The shaved... Shaved sides. I've met her before as well. She's usually with that lady with the blue dress. I didn't know she was Desmond's sister though. I didn't know he had a sister, but didn't know it was her. That's Eve from Evelyn, whatever. And then the other woman sounds like Rook. Yeah. Rook. Yeah, that's familiar. Yeah. It's these all these all connected, but they were Well weird. If this is true and Annabelle has left, then I doubt they'll be hanging around Armadillo without anyone to, you know save them from what's gonna happen yeah the only people we've seen out here so far is danny a bartender and morgan and that's the man that i shot as soon as peter gray dies they all run they all run for the hills the worms can't do anything by themselves his body was in the yeah, we we should should go see that, actually. it was it, fucking buzzing if we're taking thieves landing we're to get that fucking shit out of there we should go handle that actually. it's gonna stink I think something or someone, one of the Lobos must have moved him or something. I'm sure still, he still has people. Uh, before, before this whole thing kicked off, he was running around with one other person and he had no money. Because I robbed him and he was broke. So, yeah, no. The, the fella thrives off war without anybody with it having his back. He's got nobody. Ever since the Pale Panthers kind of disbanded. Well, I think they're still around, but it's someone named Big Country, Charlie, and Morgan, and Desmond, and apparently this Rook Lady and Eve. That's them now. That's I know of. So they're still around, and they ain't too happy with us taking back the Thieves Landing, so I'm sure they're gonna try to fight us for it. Well, but they, well, they can try. If you folks are about to ride the thieves, uh, since I'm not wanted, I'll just go, uh, I'll go to Blackwater and keep eyes on the law, let you know if they're doing anything. Yeah, they've been following me all day. Is he wanted, James? Been wanted for a long time. Hmm. Once? No, I think we could meet with, like, maybe, I mean, you guys done met with Peaches already. I was thinking about meeting with Sam Bass and Roscoe and see if they got some, any information on the pack. I'm pretty sure I saw that Roscoe fella at uh, Wallace Station earlier. So I think he's around. Okay, good. Yeah, someone should do that. I can go with I tried Goldie. to find him in Valentine, but he wasn't in Keynes. Mm. 
stay in the groups we had before. Or, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of us right now. Yeah. They've been trying to settle in McFarland, so they're probably traveling to the front. But I think we're gonna go check out thieves. I'll still need to be filled in on this whole jet situation as well. Yep. If there's anything that's missing as well. I also asked one of them bathhouse workers, bathhouse Jack. Uh, to look into the pack too, because his friend Wisteria meets the same description, and uh, she was one of the bathhouse people that's friends with Scout, the one that we stabbed in the in the mountains. Isn't it the uh, the mama's boys running the bathhouse now? Yeah, the mama yeah. boys is running that. We could talk this Tommy then. Yeah, but you think he's gonna get a straight answer from Tommy? I kind of probably that not. He ain't seem to, he ain't seem to know much oh, about it. Oh, Christine tends to, uh, give out some information. I'm not too sure if it's, uh... No, never. Yeah, she fell ill. What, she dead? I don't think she's dead, but she was real sick. Like, she had some kind of infection in her body. Sepsis? Yeah. No, she's dead then. No hope for that. Can't cure her. talk to Sam or something? Yeah, but if they didn't find nothing out about the pack, then there's real no reason to meet them. I could send a telegram to you find something out, if so let's meet. All right, or maybe just with do me that. anyways. Ask him if he has anything to inform us on, if not. Uh, I don't know, we got a lot of birdies out there looking for these people now. I feel like we've done what we can at this moment. We're just gonna have to wait until we hear something or probably, I get a telegram from them again. Yeah, they're probably just fighting in a hole somewhere. I hope none of these folk we have looking are ass not enough to attack them themselves and take away that from us. How the hell is he gonna ask someone for a favor and not give information on how to reach them? What's everyone talking What's his favor I'm hearing that's about? What that's what I think. We gotta just ask people. We just gotta go say, hey. We're here to give you the favor you needed. And the first person that says yes, we shoot them. And the so catcher plan, up, I like it. I like that when idea. They stabbed, when they stabbed Jed, sent Mills here a message saying that if we don't do a favor for them, they intended to stab each and every one of us one by one. That what a, a, a favor do? that we already owed them the message implied. When are, when are, when are they going to learn? didn't make good on something. When are these people going to learn? Well, not Kamikla. I don't think it was like that. The telegram said if y'all hold on you keep on riding, fella. I'm just visiting our dead. <laughs> the telegram said we done in one of your men. If you don't do a favor for us, it'll happen again. Yeah, that, that telegram makes me think it's uh, some new folk. I don't think anyone we got problems with now is that stupid to think that would actually work. What the hell do they know about well, yeah. you What the hell was some... Well, they obviously don't know anything if they think they're going to get a favor from fucking stabbing Jed. It's the opposite of what they want. Yeah, it's going to be new folk. Deep. It's already so deep. Well, it's not really that deep. We haven't found anyone. It could just be one guy having a Has... ridiculous power. Well, well, what did Jed say? Does he remember anything from getting cut up? He just said something about Mount Hagen and animals on their heads. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking cult. <laughs> Probably. We checked tall trees, was there lad I ran through tall trees before, didn't see anybody. Damn. There's been a lot of folk in uh, Blackwater and Strawberry. That's it. Uh, Law was patrolling Emerald Branch earlier. That's all I've seen today. <laughs>
They're still probably out east though, they followed me all the way from the ranch to... Super fucking busy for about the last week. What's that? Valentine has been super fucking busy for about the last week. Yeah, seems like everyone's hanging around the same general areas. People are hanging out in Strawberry a lot. Yeah. And that's yeah. where Jet got grabbed. Hmm. Someone somewhere... Or someone there knows something. And the telegram was sent from Emerald Ranch. But I'm guessing they only sent it because they headed from the Elysian Pool straight to Emerald. So they grabbed him in the, in the strawberries? Is that what Jed told you, Kaniqua? He said, uh, he was in the strawberry area. He was headed east when he got picked up. That would make sense if they're from Mount Hagen. Strawberry is the closest town to the site. So they, what, they if, what if, what if, what if Jed got his mountains confused and it's actually Mount Shan? Man, they took him on a whole fucking cross country journey when they got him, huh? Picked him up in Strawberry and brought him to Elysium? If it was Strawberry, Mount Shan would make more sense. I thought they told him, where'd we get Man Hagen from? Jed himself. Jed. Which means they said the words Hagen. Maybe you didn't even see where he was. I might have been trying to throw him off. I believe it's Hagen only for the fact that the other Hagens are upset that they got kicked out. They're saying they left for a myriad of reasons that I wasn't going to press with the numbers I had and at the stage our relationship is in. Can I... I wasn't at this meeting with the former Hagens. Did they bring up that another group had replaced them and started using their name, or did you bring it up and then they responded upset to it? I brought it up. So that means mm. they might not even have been aware of it up until that point. Ain't these the Hagens they that seem shot Pip? Unaware of it. Yes. Yeah, they, they didn't sound happy to hear about another group being up there. They didn't even know him up until this point. Does that mean that there is another group then, or, or is it the same Hagens? These people are not on Mount Hagen anymore. They are firmly in Ratskeller Fork. Or Rathskeller Fork. Rattlesnakes. Aren't the Diamondbacks, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, so please get it right. But do you think these Thank Diamondbacks you. could be could be still mad about that whole Pip thing? Putting on disguises and pretending it ain't them. They certainly could be, but the only way we're gonna find out is if we keep talking to them. That's true. At this point, if we can't get any leads, we might just have to wait until they fucking hit another person and send a telegram that lets us reach them. Which I'm not too fucking keen on. But how else are we gonna fucking find them? Well, going by their logic, they think they're already owed a favor, so I think they might telegram us first. That's what we're waiting on. That would be the, the big thing right now, is if they'd reach out to us and tell us what the fuck this favor they want even is. Uh, they're what probably the enjoying watching us squirm. Well, whatever they're we're running do, they across the crossing. Now, right now, probably. Yes, we've got... Well, we've got most of our feelers out. Everyone that's ambivalent to supportive of us is looking for these people already. It'll only be a matter of time before some rock gets flipped over. Someone finds an animal mask under it. I think we might have to be aggressive about our search. And I think if we run into someone in one of these locations that's even mildly questionable, we're gonna have to pat them down, make sure they don't got a fucking animal hat on them. I agree with that sentiment. Where would you even hide a fucking animal hat? Your horse. Hey, stuff it in your bag. Hey. Who even wears animals on their head? I do. Right. And Pip does. All right. I used to wear a warthog. Stop judging my daughter.
out. Let's split up. Uh, James and Athos and I will head to Thieves' Landing. Well, uh, I imagine send a telegram from Armadillo and wait till we get a reply. Yeah, maybe Armadillo or the Benedict. We'll go to Benedict. Y'all go to Armadillo if you're gonna do telegrams. All right. Stay safe and stay in contact. I'll see you later. Will do. Stables in Armadillo. I believe there is. Uh, no way, there isn't. There's one in Thieves, though, isn't there? Yes, there is. Uh, I need to get my other horse. See it, me too. I've been working on my uh, horse riding. <laughs> oh? I feel like I'm getting much better. I, I realized my main problem was I never looked at the road too much. I, I think I'm always on edge, I'm always looking around and I run into things. Scanning the horizon is certainly useful sometimes, but yeah, if they rate it, which I hope you've improved. Well, I was kicking up dust on those dormen earlier; they couldn't find me. Yes, yeah, so if that's any indication. How many times have you outrun them today? Only once, but since I've been wanted, it's been about six or seven. Gosh. Well, actually, I saw them in Strawberry, and they... I think they were coming up a little bit out of there, so if you want to count that. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, howdy, fella. That's not just... What brings you out here? <laughs> I was uh, like over the tumble. What are you doing on this, uh, this fine evening? <laughs> well, we're doing quite well. Name's Caniclo. What's yours? And the name is Benedicto. Benedicto? See? Huh. What a wonderful name. Well, gracias. It is good to meet you, Caniclo. Uh, fellow, you seen anyone around here today? Besides us, of course. There was a, a few gentlemen. Uh, Show them coming up towards uh, McFarland. Interesting. Right. Yes, but I cannot say I see too many people aside from that. A lonely, dusty trail out here. Why well, well, it should be. Yeah, not too many people, uh, at least I can see, can do well for themselves. Is that here in uh, New Austin? Alright, Benedetto, I'll let you get to it then. Maybe have a good evening. Hey, gracias. Well, that's not you. Seen the Marla recently, Kay? No, I haven't. Hmm. 
Yeah. So do you have Goldie's telegram? I don't have it. Yeah. Dip, you mentioned you needed the talk. Oh, I just need to be filled in. That's what it, all it was. for a long time. Didn't really know what was going on. YZ009. YZ009. Hey, baby, to it. Thank you so much, Blue. Where's Jack? Dex. Jack's in prison. Um, again? Yeah, until the 17th. Oh, god damn it. Yep. Law well, somehow found out about some shit. They've been doing that a lot recently. Yep, they have. Yeah, I thought it was Taipan, but they haven't been around for that long. Since I've been gone, then I'm not too sure. No. Don't even think we... Jack wasn't even there when we did the thing we did to Taipan. No, I think this was Morgan. Just one of the any number of people that saw it. They probably did it at a secluded camp, but there could have been a passerby. Morgan. But I'm thinking. I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him either. He's. He's a tired person. That's yeah, been around for a long time. I think he might have been the first fella I ever shot. Definitely the first one I ever took hostage. <laughs> and then a small history, I guess. Never really got along. I see. There's always just something about him that annoyed me. More than most people. Maybe Goldie shot it out of him. Oh! Oops. Sorry, you fell on the reins there. That's alright. It's usually me doing that though. Not anymore though, right? Hopefully, we'll see. Maybe my leg getting filled with the uh, shotgun pellets has helped me in some way. Might be the metal plate. Maybe. I bet there's going to be wolves up here. I saw something about barrel, a barrel race in the paper. I don't know if that's tomorrow. A barrel race? I think, yeah, there's a barrel race in McFarland's oh. set on the 15th. I think that's tomorrow. Who's hosting it? No idea. I'd assume it'd be the same people from last time when they got robbed by the Pale Panthers. Oh, not much of them to worry about. 
Sam Bass is trying to move into McFarland Ranch. He's is he? Out of town. That might be good for us if we're going to take Thebes. Yes, and that might put us on a route to eventual conflict. Maybe. Because I think the place they want to move after this is Thebes Landing. Good enough home here and never want to leave. I've always liked me farms, Ranch. Fella in front of us. I guess that's actually, yeah, you reminded me, that's what I wanted to talk about. Maybe we could rob this barrel race, who knows? I'm gonna say hello. Practicing for the race? Uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I got my new horse recently and I'm just trying to uh, practice and whatnot. There's a, there's a race going on or something? Tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Right here, where we're standing. Okay, who's uh, hosting that? No idea. It's just in the paper. Anyway, where are you from, fella? I'm, uh, I'm from Valentine, took a little trip, but not figured I'd catch this cougar and heard you can get some pretty good money and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, not as good as a bear, but it'll do you good. Yeah, I heard the bear is pretty good as well. So. As long as it doesn't yeah, like get said, to you before uh, you get it. Just practicing some moves. I learned this one today. Going backwards with uh, Ron here. <laughs> yeah. yep. I didn't, I, can, uh, I didn't catch your name. Uh, my name is Max, Max Brady. How about you? Max, nice uh, to meet you. James Kelly. Okay, nice to meet you. Are you a uh, law or something? <laughs> uh, no. Far from it. Yeah, far from it. Okay, that's good. The Me name's Kaniklo. Uh, what was your name there? Kaniklo. Okay, nice to meet you. How about you, fellas? <laughs> Pathos. Okay, you all uh, rolling with somebody? Something like that. Okay. I, I, I get confused for law a, a lot. Is there something about me? I'm, I'm really intrigued as to, I don't know. Uh, no, I think it might be, uh... Actually, you know what, I don't even know. I was just like a gut feeling, you know? Yeah, I, I get it. I just get asked out of a, a lot. I'm trying to freaking get to the bottom of it, you know? Yeah, I mean, if I ever think about it, I'll let you know. Where are y'all from, by the way? Uh, yeah, Thebes Landing. Okay. Uh, all right. So what are you, what are you all? Uh, is, there, is there a group out riding out there now? Like, I could find that or whatever? Uh, it depends who you are. I'm you, not uh, or anything. You ask if we ride with anybody, or I'm um, confused as to the question. Hey, uh, I, I work, I'm over at Valentine, though. So. Yeah, are you asking if we, if we run with someone? Or? Well, I mean, if you tell me, I'll tell you. Three of you versus one of me, so. I think, no, we're uh, not gonna hurt you, fella. We can talk. We ain't looking to fight. We're just seeing his passing nope. through, that's all. Alright, I just want a little chit chat. That's right. He with Sam Bass. Okay, I'm with uh, Sam's Club. I thought so, yeah. Alright, so how about you all? <laughs> We're with Jack Kettleman. Okay. We killed the Kettleman <laughs> game, for some right. folk. Uh, yeah, we've been pretty nice today. Not much uh, fucked up has happened, which is good in our book. Okay. Yeah, uh... I think we all gave you some guns or something the other day. That's where I... Something like that. You know if Sam's around right now, I think we'll mean to talk to him. 
Uh, no, he actually well, laid his head not too long ago. He's going through some stuff right now, so. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm -hmm. You're, uh, taking over McFarlane's, aren't you? Yep, that's why I'm honestly over here and just trying to get a lay of the land and whatnot. And it's a good spot. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not too bad. I do enjoy that. Damn might want to might want to make yourselves known tomorrow at the races. Let folk know what's going on around there. Maybe that's a suggestion. Yeah, it's actually a good. Uh, who's putting that together, by the way? I, I honestly have no idea. I was telling the truth before. I saw it in the, sword and the paper. Um, it's 8 p.m. Eastern, I think I saw. 8 p.m. But um, yeah, no, they've had barrel races here before. The last ones got robbed, so I think they've been waiting a while to do another one. They thousand dollar they pot. Just, they just go in a circle and whatnot. I honestly have no clue. I've never raced before. Mm. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I just, uh, just got Ron here not too long ago, so like I said, I was getting the lay of the land and uh, getting used to Ron here. It's an Dakota, ain't it? Uh, this is a uh, Fox Trotter. It's a Fox Trotter. Mm-hmm. Nice horse, I got one myself. Okay. It's not too bad. What are you all getting into tonight, I think? Yeah, we were just headed to uh, Thieves Landing. Okay, oh, you all take that already? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? I thought you all had to fight for that. Let's go ahead and walk in. Well, considering the uh, previous owners aren't really around anymore, it's not much of a fight. Might be some Del Lobos left there that ain't too fond of us, but nothing we can't handle. Okay. Nice. That's good. I'm, uh, I'm happy y'all... I heard y'all were there too before, so I, I do... Uh, you know, if that's what y'all want to do again, I'm glad y'all there and whatnot. Oh, we're very close to each other. Mm-hmm. It's a nice little spot, and uh, I think Pip was saying that that was his tugboat or something that he used to have. Pip's got a lot of boats. Yeah. I think he's an admiral now. I think he's his worked first. his way up the chain. Okay. Or is he still Captain yeah, Pip? Said, I'm not uh, too sure. Well, I said what happened to no, him the cabin, now. because the cab is supposed to go down with the ship, and he said he's not going to talk about it, so I'm not. I didn't say <laughs> yeah, don't ask him about the captain. Yeah. Uh, which one? I it's our subject. Is there two captains? Uh, which captain are you talking about? Uh, the the lighthouse one, the one we ain't supposed oh, to talk about. Oh, about a different captain. Oh, there's two captains. That might get confusing. I think that's why they usually have names. Well, I don't, I don't remember this fellow's name. He just said he was the captain. I thought it was a pirate, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, that guy only ever said he was the captain. The guy I was thinking of was Captain Henderson. I don't see anybody wearing like black and red looking through here, probably like I guess we got 15 points. I have I have seen a fellow wearing black and red today, but it wasn't here. It was up in the Emerald Branch. I'm pretty sure it was a lawman though. They started chasing me. I saw like uh I saw like three of them wearing black and red. I wasn't sure if it maybe summers. Uh, well, there was a group running around wearing black and red, robbing folk. I haven't heard too much about them recently. I'm not too familiar they with some as any group. Uh, they were, they, they were around no, in Austin. Mean like, uh, I mean, like Rob. Rob folk? Yeah. I'm not too sure. I don't come out here often. Oh. Now nah, those fellas were like hanging around the ranch. Or in the crossing? No, no, like like uh, at the ranch here, like near here. Uh, Kerrigan's Ranch, they were hitting them pretty hard, but I'm pretty sure they fell off the face of the earth and I haven't heard much about them. They might come back though. I've been considering Kerrigan's Ranch and Blackwater's pretty close to here, maybe. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And too many folk to rob around here though. No. Alright. Most if I people was fight back. People, I wouldn't cross into New Austin. Nah, no, it's a bad area. Mm hmm. Yeah, we, we don't get too much uh, traffic through. I mean, we get locals and whatnot, but it's pretty much it. Um, once once in a while, way. we get some folk. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I think it's because Armadillo's died down a bit. If that someone ever goes back in there, then you probably will be getting a fair bit of traffic. You have to come through here to get there, so. Yeah, so I guess nobody's in there now, huh? For, for what I'm hearing is true, no, I don't think so. Pretty empty when we went through there. It's the way it should be, though. It's been it's been pretty empty the past couple of days. We've been stopping through, so it's not too bad. Yeah, uh, surprise. You know, I used to be down there a fair bit. Surprised I didn't get cholera. I don't like going there too much now. I'm not trying to play yeah, play time, with luck. One or two times I was there. I mean, there they had people on the damn roof, and it was really populated. And, you know, this week, last week, there's barely been anybody around. So. Kind of surprising, but it is what it is. Fortress Armadillo was an unfortunate blight on the crossing's most beautiful necropolis. Well, you know, people say you can cut the worm off, the head off a worm, and it'll, you know, they've got two of them, but it didn't really fit the bill down there. Mm -hmm. The head worm died, and they all ran off. Yep. It is pretty hard. Not too used to that, you know. Yeah, as I said, it's always been the place for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's always so been. They, uh, I guess uh, they don't have any law down there, right? Um, no, no, they do have law down there, despite what Annabelle was saying. Okay, she, she called herself yeah, the queen of the rest. I've got no clue. Had to be Probably. brought out of state for medical attention. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, with with her gone there, you won't be seeing too many people. She was the queen of the rejects. Anybody ruin their chances out east, I'd go down there and you know hang around the armadillo. That's what she was making it. And she told me it was a lawless place too, to my face. And then five minutes later, six deputies came in and arrested her. So. She was a delusional yeah, woman. This was a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, probably. Maybe a month. Okay. Ancient history by now. Yeah. Well, well uh, it's a beautiful you... ranch you got here. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna be making our move uh, probably sometime next week, and uh, hopefully all's all's good and well. And uh, have you, uh, congratulations on the these landing there. I hope you all. Have yes. you spoke to anyone from Kerrigan's Ranch? Kerrigan's uh, <laughs> told anyone like that? Yeah, okay. I can't recall. You might, honest. if you haven't, you might want to establish something there. They can. Deliver cream. They can do a lot of things good for you if you're right. You know, if you'd be right by them. Good friends to have. Okay. Considering you're really close, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, it's probably best pretty, to be on the. Pretty neutral with everybody. I mean, we have a few here and there. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah. I wouldn't see it a problem. No, I mean, good business partners, I guess, if that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. In the past, people who picked up milk deliveries from here would bring them to Kerrigan's Ranch before they hit Blackwater. They would yeah, replace another... the milk with Kerrigan Ranch milk and slip the driver 20 extra dollars. Maybe they'd be willing to do that again. Yeah, that's what I was okay, getting at. You might be able to... Um... Get some milk deliveries going, they might pay you, you might pay the drivers, who knows? It's gonna be something you're gonna to have to sort out yourself, yeah, but there's weird. an opportunity of, there. Uh, yeah, we're thinking about charging people or not. But uh, how does that process work, by the way? I mean, we, we don't think we've tried it yet. Well, you know, what? it's fairly milk simple. Mm -hmm. If you <laughs> charge people for milk deliveries, you're gonna. Oh, man. No, 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 you don't charge we them, you, you pay them. And then you get money you from them. Too. Okay, so the, our Kerrigan's Ranch used to do it way back when I was delivering milk. When I was just little wee James Kelly. You would buy the milk from Blackwater, you'd bring it down here. You'd take the wagon up through Kerrigan's Ranch and they'd give you 10, 20 bucks, depending on, you know, how much milk you had. And then that's how they would, I guess, pay their employees to deliver milk. 
That's what I'm saying. You're gonna have to talk to them. They might have something you can work out. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, you know, everything's still up in the air. We haven't even moved over here yet, but that's something to definitely take into yeah, consideration. Yeah. yeah, it's worth talking about, I guess. Maybe, you know, you could advertise some milk deliveries. They might pay you. Who knows? Yeah, I think uh, we actually rode here the other day, and we saw someone uh, with a wagon and whatnot. So, I mean, there are folk that come out here, so it's good. Yeah, yes, yeah. A lot of folk come out here to make money. It's a good way to network. Milk deliveries. Mm hmm Let me key you yeah. in. Milk deliveries are the best way to make money. Really? I, when I first came to Crossing, I, I, uh, I did I a lot of milk deliveries. But, uh, it, you Only know, I, I, look better, at, I look at it in a different way. Instead of, you know, monetary gain, if some fellow is delivering milk, he doesn't have much going on for himself. You might find some friends, maybe some people that are willing to help out on the ranch if you ever need some new folk. You know, you're really down in your luck if you're delivering milk and cream. So. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm, you know, we're all really excited and uh, you know, hopefully we can start fresh here and build something up from the ground up, you know? I'm excited for you guys to finally move out of a bar next to a sheriff's office. Yep, yeah, uh, you can only do so much in Valentine, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it is nice, though, meeting folks and, uh, you know, spreading your name, getting the word out. But, you know, we're, we're at that point now. We got to we gotta start to uh, branch out. And, uh, you did populate that more. town a lot, though. Was that? You did populate that town a lot. But this is probably oh, definitely yeah, a been, better place to be if you Sam still yeah, has to focus mean, on his goal. I a, uh, tonight I hosted a Denny event in Valentine. Uh, it was pretty good. I had about three bachelors. I had a bachelor lit. And, uh, the winners went back to King's Saloon had a nice dinner day. You know, I mean, we're doing stuff for the town. and I mean, it is what it is, right? Romantic dinner at King's. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know a feller named Edgar? Oh, what the hell? No. Looks like the cougars rotted. Yeah, that's alright, that's okay. Uh, yeah, we, uh, he works at the bathhouse. He ended up winning. He's got some problem with his back, so he's always hunching over and whatnot, but he ended up winning, which is pretty good. And then, uh, Bachelor Let and himself went back to Keens. They had a nice dinner date, so it went pretty well. We had a nice crowd and all. Um, so yeah, we gotta have a nice front and whatnot, right? That's right, especially if you're so close to a sheriff's office. That's True right, love. So. That's something. Hey, you all know Roscoe? I met him once or twice. Yeah, he uh, he was one of the bachelors too. He ran out because she didn't have any facial hair. I kind of lied to him. I said she had some facial hair to get him in the event. And he ended up running. That out. is uh, she wouldn't, she wouldn't grow any facial hair. That is very interesting. Hey, isn't that something? That is something. Man. It is what it is. What it is to each their own. But uh, I don't know how to think to feel about that. Yeah, I mean everybody did well. I'm it was sure nice there's someone to make him very happy in the world. Well, there's there's someone out there for yeah, everybody. Off, you know what? That 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 old. Lady Lucille, it I'm was. fairly sure she had a mustache. Wait, who now? Old Lady Lucille. She used to be a woman that would walk around and uh, try and take everyone out on a date. She was a bit old, but you know, if he's into facial hair, I'm pretty sure she had some. Okay. She's still around? I haven't seen her in a long time, but maybe. Mm. She might have died. She's pretty old. Yeah. Oh. I guess, uh,. Roscoe, if she was still around, Roscoe had to choose between the facial hair or the oldness, I guess. Uh, Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. That's right. Do you have um, any suggestions on what to do around here once, once we set up shop and whatnot? Well, I think you uh, should make friends with the milk delivery people. That's how yeah. Kerrigan's Ranch got started, and they became a ridiculous economic powerhouse. 
that no question. And, um, yeah, you might want to, you know, if you're here when the bell race is going on, you might want to speak to whoever sets that up. Maybe you can, uh, I don't know, make a partnership or something. Because this is a very large corral. Yeah, you can bet on horses. That would be very interesting. Oh, yeah, that's and pretty good. Start some gambling. If you own the bookie, well, that's a lot of opportunity. Okay. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to mention that there, but it's good to know. Yes, you've got a horse race track here. A yeah, very yeah. specific type of horse race that the crossing goes nuts over. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited. I know everybody else is, so see how it, uh, turns out. Yeah, I think y'all got enough. I think you can make something out of this place for sure. Mm-hmm. But that is a good idea with the whole gambling thing. You might need a strong arm, but whoever, you know, is putting it on. Considering they've been doing it for a while, they might not want to give it up or partner so easily. Yep. I mean, I guess that's where Sam comes into, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's kind of the mouth of the whole club, so... I'm sure he could work something out. Mm -hmm. You're all calling it Sam's Club. I mean, we're not calling it. That's just kind of how, you know. That is how it works. I'll, I'll call you anything. Just give me, just give me one thing to call you. Oh, I'll, trust me. We, I don't. <laughs> I'm be honest though. I don't like it. But I mean, uh, I mean it's, it's Sam. It Sam's gang would be better. Then again, if you're running a ranch, I don't think you'd want gang. In that time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, Sam's Ranch, something like that. Somebody uh, when we first got together. They said Inglorious Bastards, <laughs> the Bass Boys. Uh, somehow, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty good. Bass's Ranch. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll we'll see what happens. You know? Yeah, it's a lot of opportunities. But, yeah, and people yeah, tend to start naming the groups how they see fit. Once you mm -hmm. guys move here, I can start calling you McFarlands. No. Uh, I, I'm never saying Sam's Club to someone. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not gonna say that either. Uh, it, it makes you, it makes you seem, you know, makes you seem like pushovers at the Sam's Club. Yeah, hey, doesn't it? it makes, I mean, saying, oh, how about like. I mean, his last name is ba uh, Bass. We can do like Bastards, the Bastards, something like that. I don't know. That, that's a that's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that could work. It, it reminds me of the the Renegades, though. Oh. But that's right. not a bad thing. I didn't like that name. Did you like that name? Well, no, that was that one was. <laughs> Renegades. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe anyway. I'll pick some brains. Yeah, names don't matter too much. It's, it's like you said, even if you start calling yourself some, the crossing de decides what your name is. Yeah. And yeah. we can't change our name yeah, even if we wanted to. Named after its loudest male member. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it is about repetition though too, right? So... Yeah, it might be a hard one to shake if everyone's calling you Sam's Club. Right. He really cares about the name anyway. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, just wait until they write Sam's Club in the newspaper. <laughs> That's true. Then you will realize. No, yeah, that would piss me off. Mm hmm. I guess it's not really official until it's in the newspaper, right? No, nope, nothing is. Mm -hmm. And usually you have to kidnap a reporter to get in. Oh. Even that doesn't work. I've tried it twice. Yeah, we had a reporter that was supposed to, you know, write up on Keen Saloon, and he don't say anything, but he was supposed to show Sam how to read and write, too. But uh, he ended up dying. Somebody killed him. And, kind of nah, those, those reporters... Wait, wait. Uh, Who's dead? Uh, Garibaldi? He was from Valentine. Ooh. Never heard of him. 
But no, those reporters are the biggest weasels in the crossing. They, you know, they'll say, that they'll write whatever you tell them, and then you tell them a real good story, and you never see it. Oh, we're sorry. You know, it went. It was in the. It was in the writing phase for too long. Yeah, they just make up bullshit to try and you know make it seem better. They're just lazy, and they're not allowed to write anything that glorifies criminals, which is very strange. You know, that's what the that's what people pick up the paper for. They want to see some. They want to read something that's you know interesting. They don't want to read about some fucking. Oh, the, the, the sheriff's department's recruiting. No one wants to read that. It's in there every ads. week. Exactly. It's only it on paid advertisements. And it's the same damn ad every fucking week too. That uh, that Alba loans an investment. I tried to scam that lady and didn't even get a response. They're not even active and they're still in the paper every week. Are they paying them, or were they just kind of like... Yeah, yeah you got to pay for advertisements. I'm not sure how much they're forking over, but it's been in there for months now. It's been... Yeah, they must have put a lot of money in there. So, uh... Pretty much just make sure the reporter's sitting at his desk and have a gun to his head while he's writing it up. Even then, they might not even put it in the paper. It's really hit and miss. I've never got anything I wanted in there. You remember, the, remember when we assaulted Valentine K? Were you there? With Clyde? I was not there, but I heard about this. Yeah, I, I, I told two reporters, because Clyde really wanted it in the paper. So I told him I'd get it in there. And both of them said they loved the story and I'd get it in there. And then I ran in the corner and he said, no, we'd, we're not putting it in, it took too long. The hell? I mean, it gives them something to do, right? Yeah, and it was probably the best story they've ever seen. Such a great story. Yeah, I imagine you're quite the writer. Me? You're, you're a pretty good orator. I mean, he was just transcribing it, right? Oh yeah, no, it was it was perfect. Even 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 the lady said it was the best story she ever heard. That still didn't make it in the fucking paper. What the hell? Yeah, as I said, they, they don't really like putting crimes in there because they think it's going to turn people to crime. I don't understand their logic, but they've got it. They'll, yeah, I mean, they'll love to write a story about a sheriff, though. That's their favorite thing to do. Yeah, people don't turn to crime because they read something in the paper. People turn to crime because they get robbed every ten minutes. Yeah, it could be it too, right? I mean, news is news regardless, so, and I don't see why. Exactly. You know, it's meant to be a business. It's not meant to be propaganda for the law. I don't understand it. That's right. Well, uh, yeah, they, well, they, you get they, to they, it. They won't be writing about the law anymore, you know? Yeah, I've, you know, that's, there has been talks about that before. Starting up the paper. Jack wanted to do that for a real long time, didn't he, Kay? He did. That's his number one goal for a minute there. It would have been interesting if you could get it started. It would have been uh, yeah, wouldn't it? You bizarre. Got some competition and whatnot. Well, that's 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 all they need, you know. Some someone comes in, starts a paper, starts putting stories people want to see. They're gonna blow them out of the water. They're not gonna be buying those shitty papers anymore. That's right. So it, it is a good opportunity. Probably How Jack Kettleman isn't the person to do it though. How is he doing, by the way? Is he right? I haven't seen him in a while. He's on How's ice right now. I have oh, been living in a cave. Right? He's what? He's living in a cave? No, I've been living in a cave. That's why I haven't seen anybody oh, recently. Alright. Yeah, and no, I got a pretty bad leg injury. I had to rest up. What'd you do? Who is that? Well, I didn't do anything, but you know, some people somebody. thought it would be all right to shoot me in the leg with a with a shotgun. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, no, I didn't think I was going to be able to walk ever again, but no, I didn't. You know, we got a really good surgeon, so oh, that's cute. Saved my leg. Yeah, there's been a lot of people getting. Uh, 
injured a lot too, you know. Just gotta be careful out there. Yeah, yeah. Damn, uh, Barry fall off the damn ledge when we met with uh, Pip and uh, Goldie the other day. That does happen a lot. A couple crunching noise, so. Uh oh. Yeah, Barry is a clumsy son of a bitch. He, he does come off as a clumsy son of a bitch. Anyway, we gotta check Dave's. We've been here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> We've been here too long. <laughs> it was good, it was good right chatting with you, though. Late. Max, what's it going? That's correct. Yeah, Max yeah. Brady. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm sure I'll see you all right. Oh, yeah, we'll see you very soon. Good to see you in New Austin. one and then the next one's gonna be supercharged could be a good way to help him out though cut the forest before it grows that's true but if we robbed it maybe it would uh you know make him think twice about putting another one on and that makes sam you know take that opportunity so do you think anyone in that gang knows anything about barrel racing no, but I don't think that would stop him. You know, if they want to, they want to succeed, Valentine. I'm hoping they got the skills to put on the race. Touch, which means he's probably already sent me a telegram. <laughs> this fuck. What about Pip? Where's Pip? Pip, uh. Pip's in prison. Almost every. Well, no. Alice is out, so not almost every. Shields? What about Shields? Shields is in prison and has a metal plate in his head and. It's a long story. I gotta tell you about what happened in the cabin. Law, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so.
We're gonna send this telegram and get the fuck out of Blackwater. Yep. Why don't just ride the brakes? That's probably better. Yeah. Why are they in thieves? Suggesting Blackwater. I, I, I had to figure out what was up. No, no, why are they in thieves? Uh, apparently, other situations. Interesting. So, another criminal? It looks like they just got shot down by murderers, but maybe there was another party that had since fled the scene. Maybe. That's another good thing about these landing, I guess, is that Del Lobo is actually friendly with the war. Makes it hard to get arrested there. Someone draws a gun, they're probably gonna get shot. Is that you, Todd? Mm -hmm. Howdy. Oh, James. Can you clear? That's right. How's it going, guys? Hey. <laughs> Better than yesterday or the day before. Say again, sorry. Better than yesterday and the day before. Oh, what happened then? Ah, uh, just... A lot of, uh, changing... <laughs> Bandages and wiping away pus. Not my own. Oh. Who's hurt? No, Jed was hurt. What happened to Jed? Uh, some fellas named the Punk roughed them up. You know any okay. animal head wearing goons? Operating from Strawberry to Elysian Pool. Mm. How many of them are there? I've seen two wearing some sort of animal heads, head things. They came here to the ranch one time. Mm. We think they were fixing a robbery place. But uh, we saw that we had too many people and they, they took off. It was, it was real strange. That's the... That's the Impression I got of them. They sort of come back later on, uh, masked up. They didn't sort of ride up to us or say anything, but I think Alice and Mills here at the same time, so they, they sort of didn't do nothing they went off. Very Could interesting. I spoke to them as well a little bit earlier than that because 
well they came up they came up and had a chat with us and then they left thanks lizard i'm glad to be back it's so, been real fun that's why we thought they were going to try and rob us but and they were saying something about living up in the snow or something like that uh that's them that makes sense that's them you get any fake names i did uh it was like a week ago there was a man and a, and a woman. Um, it's like a... Her name was like... It started with M. Yeah, it was kind of like... You know one of those... Posh sounding names from St. Martha. Magdalene? Nah. If you said it, I'd have it. Maggie. Uh, nah. I can't think of any name starting with them besides them. Like Madeline, maybe? No, Madeline. I can't remember her name. And the fella's name, I, I can't remember at all. Okay, well, we still know they're around you then, so that's good information. You found the prick who busted down your door yet? Nah. Yeah. Toby was here earlier right? looking it. for him. Who's that, Toby? Yeah, Toby was here looking for the fella. Yeah, whoever keeps coming here, they like they come in the very middle of the night. Like, you know, when no one, everyone's in bed and they're doing some weird shit. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's probably people just trying to fuck with this now. Yeah. Hey, uh, I've got some guns. You guys find guns? Not right now. Uh, yeah. I would if I had the money. I wouldn't get a cattleman right now. Who you got with you? They're behind you, can you play? That's Athos. Oh, Athos. Yeah, I appreciate it, Lizard. Yeah, okay. yeah I've done the Old associate. I think uh, Athos, correct me if I'm wrong, you were there when we robbed the gun store a while back with Clayton? Yep, that's right. Yeah, One of hey, my Todd. fondest memories. We really need to go check telegrams real quick. We can come back, though. Oh, no worries. Hey, uh, are you gonna, well, are you gonna come back? I've got one, I've got, uh, I can get a hand, my hands on a gun, if you guys want it. It's a sheriff's gun. I don't know if that comes in handy at all. What type of gun is it? It's a navy. Quite done up. How much do you want it for? Probably a thousand dollars. Yeah, I wouldn't ask for that much, but you let me think about it, you let me know. Yeah, I've got $23 right now, so I don't think I can afford anything like that. But, um... Well, you know, um, you know Munro? Don't know who? Sheriff Munro. Oh, I saw his name in the paper earlier. Oh, yeah, they... Yeah. Channel switched. What a long crash. There is still 80 people on at 4 p.m. 4.30 for me. The ancient Egyptians understood that they could use sound to reduce their weight.
Um, I've Channel seen. Switch. I saw one. I watched one of them on on the uh, the shootout we had out west. That was it. But yeah, I've seen that one. Why is that void? Is there a new one I should watch? I'm waiting for General Smokey to, to come out. He's part two for the lighthouse. Hello? Howdy. Is that you, Delilah? Is that you, Delilah? Yeah. You can't hear Can you hear, hear me us? now? Give me two seconds, okay? And I'll see if I can fix my ears. Could always try sign language. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll, I might check that out later. Well, just a wonderful night on the wide open expanses of the Great Plains. Yeah, for sure. Name's Kaniklo. Kaniklo? Yep, you got nice it in one. <laughs> James Kelly nice Middle. To meet <laughs> That's funny. I'm Leto. Oh, Leto? I remember you. Yeah, yeah I remember you. you remember James me? Kelly from the ranch. <laughs> Well, I'm not from the ranch, but I remember you from the ranch. Oh, I don't remember you from the ranch. I had long hair. You don't remember? Oh, the same oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when I got shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tomahawk, actually. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's Kevin up? What are, you, what are you guys all up to? We're just waiting for Todd to come back. Uh, we could probably go check telegrams and then... Yeah, if you wanna... Back. Yeah, just let Todd know we'll be back soon. Okay, we'll do. Save him a bit of time. I've been noticing the lore goes through these landing quite a bit. The they last do. three times I went there, I ran into them actually. So hopefully that ain't a problem. Considering we're all wanted besides you. Well, it'll be a problem, but well, yeah. You guys don't need to stay in Thieves' Land. We're claiming it as territory.
And I did have COVID too, but I'm feeling a lot better now. So, the other night, well, the other day, uh, I'd been taking care of Jed for about three days. He had been steadily getting worse. Looked like, uh, looked like shit was, uh, shit was taking a turn. And it really was, uh, doctors agreed, you know? And then, uh, well, then the law showed up. They had tracked down Jack, who had been searching the crossing for a doctor to help Jed. So we had him in a cabin because they were hunting him because he was the most wanted man in the crossing. Holy shit, do you know about them breaking Jack off of Sisica Island? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, so he was still uncaught for that. So the law has us surrounded in there. Jed is saying his... We have all said our last goodbyes to Jed. Jack goes in there to say goodbye. Refuses to. Demands Jed live. Jed says... Jed relents. This whole time he said he didn't want to leave the cabin. He, I... I told him he needed a real doctor. That I wasn't going to cut it. That this facility wasn't going to cut it. But he... He wanted to stay in the cabin. He wanted to be free. But Jack convinced him to go on living, even if it meant going to prison. He told him to bring him to Saint Denis. Wes was confused. Didn't understand why we were going to suddenly hand Jed over to the police instead of sending him off surrounded by friends and family. Well... Well, Wes was searching for an answer in Jack's face. Jack smacked him upside the head with a rifle. Cracked his skull, shattered it. Injury something nasty. I imagine the bean didn't Go unscathed. The Jed's doing better. Jed's got Sisica doctors now, and he was treated in San Denis. They let me and Jack come along, even as they were arresting Jack. Well, that's good news. Jack made the right decision. I know I'd do the same thing if, if you were in the same boat. Sisic is one thing, but, you know, can't come back from being dead. Exactly. I see that now, but it's hard when you've been watching someone die for days. Suddenly this man comes marching in saying, get a doctor and we'll just save him. Favorite revolver? It's got to be the, well, the Navy on this server, but... 
The Lamat from Red Dead 2 is my favorite. And Red Dead 1, the Lamat was sick. I, I really want the Lamat to be added, hopefully it is, eventually. Is that everything? No, nah, I know it's in the normal game, but I'll hopefully it's out That's of the it. server. Now, they're all in prison, because they all turned themselves in. Well, we Wes know? didn't have a choice, because he got cracked over the head. Do we know how long Pip's got? I don't know. My Navy. My Navy's... Well, the Navy's... Jack's in there till the 17. I think Goldie said Pip was in there till the 20th. Oh. Fuck. That means Jed's gonna be in there quite a while, and... When Mills goes down, he's gonna be gone. Yeah, I think they're gonna lock me away for a while as well. Might be having a birthday in there at this point. Well, let's just not get caught then. Yeah, I've been doing my best, but I can only run for so long. We should probably get back to Todd, get this over with, and meet with the others. Yep. I'm just glad I came back to some people out. Yeah. Nice sure and fortunate you got out. Or came back. You you weren't in prison. I was in a well, I was in a stone prison. I trapped in a I cave. Think these, I think these last few weeks have I don't think I'm ever gonna remember things again. That's been very chaotic. Even before I got that injury. Right now, the only thing I can remember is being in Valentine, asking a woman to help Jed, begging her. She kept just talking, just keeping me there. And then, at the end of the conversations, she said, Do you recognize me? I had no fucking clue who she was. She said she was disappointed that I didn't. Who was it? If I knew that, the image wouldn't be stuck in my head. <laughs> and now she's everyone. She's everyone I ever forget. I have to ask for their names again. I'm disappointed you didn't remember me. It gets like that sometimes. People don't understand that. Some information just goes straight through your ears and you can never remember it. I've got so much shit to deal with, you know. Some insignificant person can't get mad they ain't remembered. Oh, I thought he was just called getting old. I wouldn't know much about that. He's even younger than us. Turn 20 and just give it a look like that's what's gonna happen.
Atlas. Howdy. Howdy. Where are the others? They've all gone to bed. Yeah. Nails too? Yeah. Found out a bit more. About what? The pack. The pack. Oh, good. Yeah. At least one man and one woman, both of whom have been to the ranch and stood in the distance menacingly, <laughs> had confronted him. They gave names. Yeah, it's not balding anymore, Ben. Well, it was a week ago. Tad can't really remember the <laughs> names. Mm. The woman's name well, starts with M. Starts with M. It's fancy, apparently. Yeah, sounds like a Sandini name, is what Todd said. They said they had animals on their head, but I uh, said they were from the snow. Fits the description we've got. Yes, it all conforms. It's not canon. It it's not canon conforms. there, don't you dare. Even for someone who. Well, probably didn't know about them. So you're here to talk to Todd about this, then? Well, we already talked to him about it. We're here to uh -oh. exchange pleasantries and catch up. <laughs> is he... Where, where is he, then? No clue. He <laughs> was here when we left. He's been here longer than us. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I only got here a few minutes before y'all did. I did send him a telegram that I was coming here, though. I need to go. James mostly kept caught up. Oh, good. I, uh, I just need a few minutes. I need to go to sleep. I am exhausted. Yep, I can understand that. Prison... Prison really sucks. But God, the chase is exhilarating. No better way to wake up.
You, uh, are still around when Alice gets back. Tell her I've wandered into the distance. I'll see you tomorrow, Kate. Okay? See you tomorrow. I bet she's too.
Hey, thank you for the ride. Hey, riders, how's everybody doing? Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you guys. Thanks for the follows. Time is eating right now. Yeah, Nate, me too, man. I'm very glad to be back. I, I really miss this. I've had a lot of fun today. I will be right back there. Okay, go grab some. Target, pray to raid. Jana, thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. It's a shame everyone's in Sissica niche, but, um, you know, we'll make something work. It's been real fun today, even though nothing's happened. I'm glad I haven't been caught today, because I don't know how much OSC time I'm looking at. Might be a fair bit, though. Past 400? 403, yeah, we have two. That's great. I like the new hair, look good before too. Yeah, I like the old hair too. I would have kept it if um, it wasn't so buggy when the hack got knocked off. I was just getting tired of it, man. It just, you know, it was, it just broke my immersion every time I saw it. So I had to change the hair. I like the new hair though, a lot. Makes you look younger. I like it. You know, I'm really glad to be back. Um, I had COVID, I was pretty sick, and then I had some schoolwork to do, university work, so. Um, yeah, I didn't really have the time to get on. But uh, I'm back back in full, full swing of it, so I'm excited.
Yeah, that's 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 why I wasn't um, around that much, and I also just got prescribed um, testosterone to. I think that's why my immune system was down a lot. I was getting sick a lot, but I uh, should be fine. I got got to put needles in my bum now. I thought it would be a lot harder than it is, to be honest. It's pretty easy. Uh, doing it yourself is actually easier than even getting a um, flu shot. Well, I think I'm going to head over to St. Denis and see my tailor, and then uh, probably be putting my head down as well. No. All right, I thought so. I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah, yeah. Catch you both tomorrow if you're around. Yeah, I'll take Yeah, it. I will be. Yeah, you guys be safe. Don't get fucking caught. <laughs> <laughs> Try my best. You hate needles? Yeah. I've never been a fan of them, really. I've never been, like, scared of them, I guess. I don't like getting injections. But, uh, to be honest, doing it yourself is easier than someone else doing it. Which is weird. I never thought it would be like that. And um, it doesn't hurt as much, you know, when you get them in your bicep, not your bicep, your arm though, your shoulder, where they normally do it, it's kind of... <laughs> he almost just run over something. <laughs> it's really muscly, so it kind of hurts it's a bit. Fair. Not too much, but... And I think it's kind of the fluids they put in there too that hurts. But, um, testosterone is just oil, is so it? it doesn't hurt it's at all. It's a stripe shirt. Just a little pinch. Yeah, my, my testosterone levels are a bit low. Not too low, but you know who wears enough a to get prescribed. Shirt? Like prison stripes? Um, if that's the lady we saw earlier, it's Leto. No, she works here. It's a guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I know that fella. Thank God he didn't come over here. Who is it? It's a fella who rides around in the, the stripe, the Sisica stripes on the donkey, remember? Oh my god, that's the same guy? Yeah, it must be. I don't know anyone else who wears that, and he had the hair, so... Mm. Yeah, I've only done it once. I have to inject tonight too, it's every four days. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's not too bad, really. It's, uh, it's just rubbing it for ten minutes after that's annoying, because if you don't rub it, then it hurts. I'm gonna walk with a limp after. It's very expensive too. Yeah, Dan, I have to do it two times a week. It's not too bad, though. It's only um, 0 0.5 mils as well. Yeah, only one shot so far. I only just started. It takes a couple of weeks to start kicking in. So pretty much I'm just on legal roids, steroids. Because I thought it was an iron deficiency, I thought I was low on iron. But all I eat is meat, really. Meat, potatoes and vegetables, that's all I eat. So I shouldn't have been low on iron. I started taking iron tablets and that wouldn't work, so... Got tested for testosterone. And I was a bit low, so they prescribed me some. I had the option to get pills, but they're more expensive, so I just went with the needles. I think I might try my leg tonight though, instead, it's easier, as long as I don't hit a nerve. Thanks for the follow too, Grimes and Crypto.
Yeah, I haven't felt any of the side effects yet, Grimes. Cause it's been too, it's been too early, but um, I have been working out a lot more. It's made my muscles repair quicker already. They sort of follow Avalonian. Makes it a lot easier. I don't even need pre-workout anymore. Hey, Angel. <laughs> yeah, no, I get what you mean. And I guess I should have realized I was low on te um, testosterone earlier. I've always been kind of, uh, you know, I, get, I used to get sick fairly often. And, um, yeah, it definitely dropped off as I got older. I used to have a lot more drive. And then it started dropping off. But hopefully this helps me out a lot. But yeah, as I said, I've definitely been a lot more eager to get to the gym now. Because of it. I've gotten a lot very restless, I guess. I'm just waiting for the side effects, so... I probably will start getting more aggressive, I don't know, hopefully not. Yeah, because I used to work out like every day for a couple of years. And then all, this is one day I just started feeling, you know, not down, but just not, I didn't want to get active anymore. I think it's because my test stopped, started dropping. I don't know why it did, but um, I've definitely got that that drive again. So it's it's working so far. It's only been four days though. It's meant to take like four weeks to really activate. Yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing enough to get many side effects. Like I won't get gyno, um, or anything else. I might get more aggressive though, just because of it, you know, just because testosterone boosts that. But yeah, I shouldn't get too many side effects considering it's a low dose. It's only one mil a week. I have like the best Indian restaurant just around the corner from my house. I do the best tandoori chicken and the best um, vindaloo, chicken vindaloo. Man, I love vindaloo. I've definitely been getting a lot more hungry though, Grimes. I've been so hungry recently. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go jab myself after stream, I think. I'm not gonna lie though, I have been tempted to up the dosage. I'm just gonna do what the doctor said. Do you have any food on you, Alice? 
Yeah. I've got a lot of meat, but I haven't cooked it yet. I'm sorry, what? I've got a lot of meat, but I haven't cooked it yet. Oh, you know there's a campfire just south of here, right? Or in, not southeast. Uh, I think it's north, isn't it? Northeast. Hmm. Is it? Yeah, it is actually. Where the fuck is Todd? I don't know. <laughs> It was good to be back. Same Jack ain't around. I heard about uh, Wes and Jed as well. I think Jack made the right call there. Yeah. Jed probably wouldn't be here if he hadn't. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, Sizzik is one thing, but you can't come back from being dead. <laughs> no, you cannot. Did anyone take that fucking stinking corpse out of the speakeasy? Because I didn't go inside, um, there was too many raw. I, yeah, I don't know. The, when we uh, rolled up to Thieves earlier, there were a bunch of law out there, so we didn't go. We didn't go in. I went in and then hid straight away and they didn't see me, so I was lucky. It's only a matter of time until they start shooting my horse. I've run away that many times. I think they're getting sick of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I do like doing that. Also, I've been working on my horse riding skills. I'm getting more equestrian by the day. <laughs> really? Yep, I didn't crash once when I was riding with Kaneko, but he nearly did. Wow. I realised um, I needed to watch the road more. I was never looking where I was going. <laughs> that would probably help. How high was your dose, Grimes? Because I'm only doing one mil a week in two injections. They punch you in the cheek or they jab you in the cheek? And I'm assuming you meant ass cheek. Yeah, I had the option for them to do it, or me to do it, but I don't really want to go to the doctors every four days just to get a shot in the ass when I can do it myself, you know?
Oh, that showed me where to do it and how to do it. I have a feeling he ain't coming back. That's what I'm starting to think. I might go sleep in the barn, I think. Yeah, alright. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. It's good seeing you today. Yeah, it's good to be back. Alrighty. It's 5pm. Um, I've got people calling me to do shit, so... Yeah, handle that. I put a needle in my ass again. I thought it was going to be way worse than it was. It's um fairly easy actually. It would suck if, you know, it would suck for people that are scared of needles. But um Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Nature, if you're still here, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Thanks to everyone coming in. Thanks for the follows. And, uh, I will see everybody tomorrow. I'm gonna find someone to raid.
Apparently, Marto is a chief of PD now. That's interesting. Let's raid him. Game baked. There we go. Raid started. Thank you, Void. For being here always helped me out so much thank you dan for stopping by all the time you too lizard i appreciate all the support guys i'm glad to be back we're back on track as well so i'll be streaming tomorrow normal time i'll be up much earlier today i had people over so i couldn't really start streaming early i had to wait till they you know um i was gonna kick him out to start screaming so i left until they left um started started streaming when they left so but tomorrow i won't have that problem no. So, um, we'll be streaming a lot earlier, back to normal times, back to prime time. It's a shame Jack's in Sissica, it's a shame everyone's in Sissica, but we'll make do. There's still a few of us out, so let's, um, hope for a great day tomorrow. And I'll see everybody back here, hopefully. And, um, yeah, everyone take care, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm glad to be back.